Good morning, watch fans. This is Big Jim with the big giant eight and a half interest coming to you live from Las Vegas. We're only about, what will be, 10 days out from Christmas. That's pretty cool here in North America, you know, especially uh, United States. Christmas is probably the biggest holiday. The kids get two weeks off, um, the stores are packed, everybody's uh, in a Christmas cheer. It's a good time to be. To be here and to be healthy and to be traveling and have a good and just to really enjoy your family. Here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get to 100 videos. This is like the video number 97, I think. I'm pretty sure. So it is a really quick update on the Reese tight all titanium field watch. I got as a surprise from Kickstarter a few months ago that I didn't remember even buying. I wasn't getting the emails. If I was, they were going in the spam folder. I wouldn't even seen them. So, anyways, you know, it's um, it came on the world's worst strap, and this was the alternate strap for it. This is a rubberized NATO, and it's also terrible, very flimsy, and actually a little small. Uh, just didn't feel good on the rest of all. So, I sent Reese an email. First, I put it on a blue NATO, which looked really good, very comfortable. Barton straps, not sponsored, just a great strap. I got a bunch of Bartons. I only have a couple of 20s. This is a 20 millimeter. And, uh, but, you know, it fits great, looks good, comfortable. But uh, I sent Reese an email saying, you know, I got my Kickstarter, great watch head, beautiful loom, you know, feels really good. It's keeping less than five seconds a day. Uh, you know, it's got a legitimate 40 hour power reserve, all the, all the things they want to hear, I'm sure. But then I was honest and said, listen, that was the worst strap I've ever seen. And I've been doing. I've been collecting watches for 30 years. You know, I've got watches in my case that are 30 years old. I have one that wasn't my personal watch that is, you know, 100, almost 100 years old, maybe even 100 years old. We can't even figure how old it is. It belongs to my grandma. Um, so I said, this is a terrible strap. And the backup NATO strap was not as bad, but, you know, not impressive in any way, shape, or form. Uh, very flimsy. They said they had a titanium on the website for sale, and I sent back an email. By the way, they were so responsive in emails. I mean, I sent them an email and got a reply back in under 10 minutes. Really impressive. Uh, and we emailed back and forth four or five times, and basically they sent me a link to this bracelet on their website for 100 bucks delivered. And it came in a DHL box in two days. Unbelievable. So I've only had this watch week i don't even want to look at the timestamp and when i put the last video up it's not been very long so i sent him an email this hour after, after i posted a video and got this two days later in a dhl package the bracelet put it on and i gotta tell you they shouldn't even offer that crappy strap man this bracelet is very good for a hundred dollars i mean i've got a couple of bracelets in here that cost a hundred bucks this this uh hexat from uh Strap coat. This is a hundred dollar bracelet. Uh, beefy, chunky, monstrosity bracelet, stainless steel that just goes perfectly with my sickle samurai. Um, and this is a hundred dollar strap also. So look at this thing. It's got screw and links. You can see those. It's got no sharp edges. It's got a. It feels like it pulled some hair, but it hasn't pulled any yet. It's got a stainless steel clasp that's with the same kind of coating, so it all looks the same. I understand that titanium is very tough to uh, to work in these little teeny clasp things, you know, these little shapes and corners and stuff. So most companies, not all of them, most companies will just put stainless steel out and make the clasp last longer. It has four micro adjusts, you know. I took out, it came with four extra links and I had to take out a link anyway. So I have five extra links now. It came with very good pins, you know, very good... Uh, uh, Spring bars uh, was not hard at all to uh, fit in there. The fit is excellent. Look at those nice edges. It the color matches. This is what it should have come on. So I'm into this watch for three hundred and fifty bucks, and I'm extremely happy. Let me put this thing on. I'm wearing my other titanium watch. Just kind of compare. Only the titanium watch I own is this uh, the Casio G-Shock King of All G's. It's $1,700 retail. There's a couple of them right now for sale on eBay and the forums and what you seek in other places for in the ballpark of $1,100, $1,200. You know, DLC coating, sapphire glass, the whole nine yards. Well, here this is 
with a 1200 Vickers coating on the titanium, because everybody knows titanium is kind of soft and scratches. Sapphire glass, dead flat. Dead flat sapphire glass, but I don't see that. It appears to have AR coating, I'm only guessing. You know, it's got an okay crown. It's not great, but it is an NH35, and you can't expect miracles. There's no wobble, it's dead solid. You know, you can just hear it. So it doesn't sound bad. There's no wobble when you wear it. There's no wobble when it winds. It's an automatic. It has a has a rotor in the back to move it around. You know, uh, very good loom, by the way. This is a, I can read this loom at 2 in the morning when I get to take the dog out. For four hours later, I can still read the loom crystal clear. So, um, you know, it's a good watch. Uh, 350 I think, might be right on the edge of what it's worth. But I'm very happy that I bought it. I'm very happy. It's going to be a keeper. It's going to stay in the case. And uh, I'm very happy with it overall. You know, this strap here is going to go on the bag, the bagel straps, the junk. Let's go back into rotation for my, I have one other watch in the other box. I have a legacy box uh, full of watches that I'll never sell. Uh, and this, uh, this will go on the bag of straps in case I want to wear one of those watches at some point, which I'm, I probably never will. But you know how it is. You have watches you wear and you have watches you put away for the family and watches. So as you can see, now I have one more watch. Then I have spots. I have 12 watches in the box, and this is my 13th watch for, for the rotation. And there's a two watches here that I haven't worn in a while. And when I do my state of the collection in, in a couple of days, um, I'll talk about those two watches and what we're going to do with them. So, and it'll give me an extra spot. So, want to say the Reese uh, Resolute Titanium Field Watch is a home run. I like it. I'm very happy. Feels good. Very comfortable. Uh, it's got a good clasp. You know, I had to do a little polishing. The uh, Whatever the coating is I put on the stainless steel clasp, it uh, it didn't feel 100% right on the little claspy part, part that, the tongue that holds it in their place. But I, I used a little bit of emery board and polished it down. So here it is on an 8.5-inch wrist. Do a wrist roll for you guys. It looks pretty good. I've got no complaints. You know, very nice, very comfortable. You know, the uh, my new long jeans weighs 201 grams. This one over here, my brand new stainless steel big boy, 43 millimeter, 201 grams on an eight and a half inch wrist. This weighs under 100, it's like 90 grams. So it's really nice on the bracelet. Looks good. I got no complaints. I'm very happy. Think about the Reese. They have rebranded themselves to RZE, uh, but they're still on the Reese website, reesewatches.com, I believe what it is. Um, and uh, it's like I said, uh, yeah, Ultrex is the, yeah, Ul Ultra Hex Titanium Bracelet is what they call the coating. And, um, you know, I like it. I like it. I'm very happy. So, give them a look. There's their logo. In case anybody's looking for the logo. That's the new logo. They're, they're changing it out a little bit. So, very good brand. Very responsive on emails. Pretty happy overall. This is a great one. I'll catch you later. Bye.